Michael again with the fourth video in the Eureka at Home series. This week we're going to look at sound. When I say we're going to look at sound, that is exactly what I mean. Before we get to that, a little announcement. This week is competition week. To be in with a chance of winning yourself a Eureka goodie bag crammed with all kinds of amazing things, then keep your ears out listening for the question. But before that, let's get on with this week's topic, sound. Sound is all around. But what is sound? Sound is the vibration of molecules that make up stuff. The air is made of stuff, and so it has molecules, and those molecules can knock into each other. So when I play, say, this drum, for instance, you can hear it, but you can't see it, because air is invisible, but you can hear it, because the air is going into your ears. And the sound waves from the drum, the drum skin vibrates like this. You can hear it ringing. I hold my hand on the drum skin, I can stop it from vibrating. Okay? Now, the air that sat on top of the drum skin and surrounding the drum skin vibrates in sympathy to the skin on the drum. And so, those molecules of air, they vibrate. Now, the molecules of air that surround those molecules of air will also vibrate because those molecules of air will knock into those molecules of air and those molecules of air will knock into the next bunch of air molecules and so on and so on and so on. So long as there is some air, an atmosphere, you will hear the sound. Obviously, the further away you are, the quieter it becomes because the energy that travels through the air becomes less and less and less. It loses energy gradually. Now, if you were to travel higher and higher and higher out of the atmosphere into space, do you think you might hear the sound then? Well, I can tell you, despite what you might see in the movies, there is no sound in space. Now, talking of space, this week we have a little Star Wars themed experiment uh, that you can try at home. You might hear, I have the iconic sound of a laser blaster. Doesn't that sound cool? I'm going to show you how to make the laser blaster using a simple plastic bowl. And on the plastic bowl, we have a slinky. So sound moves in two ways, generally. Uh, the first way, and the, the most common way, is compression waves. Yes? Now I'm talking to the camera right now. I'm pushing air out of my mouth. And then the air pushes onto the microphone. These are called compression waves, like squeezing things together. So here's the air molecules. And when I talk, I'm pushing air out of my mouth and squeezing the air molecules together and then they bounce off and hit a lot more molecules. And the compression wave continues at 767 miles per hour. Let me show you another demonstration of what I mean about compression waves. Compression waves through a solid metal bar. All I need to show you this is some uh, violinists' rosin. This is the stuff they put on their, their, their violin bows. Okay, so a little bit of violin rosin. Squeeze a little bit in between my fingers. Oh, it smells beautiful. This comes from the pine tree, and it's the resin from a pine tree. So I'm just going to just need a little bit more of my fingers here. There we go. Let's get a little friction going. We need some friction here. Now if I hold this in the center... Can you hear that? Let me try that again. That is pretty loud. I don't know if the camera is picking that up so well. There we go. Wow, that is so loud. The sound from this bar is coming only from the ends. Just the ends here. There we go. Wow. As my fingers grip the rod and pull downwards, there is so much friction involved with the rosin on the fingers that they momentarily get stuck and then release, slide and get stuck again 
and it's stuck again and stuck again and stuck again and stuck again probably a few hundred times before it reaches the end but it happens so rapidly that it sets up this compression wave this vibration all the way down the rod the molecules are moving backwards and forwards in this direction so let's try that again though whoa <laughs> so that's a compression wave through solid material through metal there's another kind of wave and that's called the transverse wave the transverse wave instead of being compressed like this it moves like the waves on an ocean okay I have another large metal rod here this one is over six foot long I hope you can see this over there in the camera so I have a mark here and a mark here these are the points in which I have to hold the rod otherwise it will not work correctly and what I'm going to do is bring my knee and hit the middle of the rod there we have the transverse wave can you see that see the ends vibrating there much differently from the smaller rod there and this is called the transverse wave look at that isn't that beautiful yeah physics in action isn't the scientific world a wonderful thing so we're going to look at um some actual sound waves now we're going to go over to the rubens tube and we're going to play some music into some fire so here's the rubens tube a six foot long aluminium pipe with 120 holes here i have a gas line rigged up to a propane gas cylinder here we have my trusty little music system we're going to pump some music through the rubens tube and pump some gas in at the same time Woo! that's kind of hot better watch it don't set fire to my beautiful nylon hair all right so let's play some music you can hear that yes coming through the little speaker here this little three inch speaker moving vibrating the air pushing it forward in and out in and out in a rapid succession now let's see what happens when we attach it to the Rubens tube Woo! check it out boys and girls sound waves you are seeing sound waves with your eyeballs get your funk on Isn't that amazing? Better than any disco lights I've ever seen, I tell you. But now, something you can try at home where you can see sound waves. It's called the Micro Laser Disco Show. All you need is a Bluetooth speaker. This cost me less than 10 pounds. All you need next is a cat chasing laser toy. This cost me £1.50 from the local bargain shop. There we go. Cat Chase laser toy. Then you need a tube. I'm using an old piece of drain pipe which I've sawn off. I'm using a piece of rubber. This piece of rubber came from a rubber glove. So you want to stretch the rubber glove over the tube. And then I've used a zip tie there to tie it off. And then the final touch is this small tiny mirror. And you can find these in craft shops. I just glued that on there with the hot glue gun. Don't look around, sir. So and there's the laser toy shining directly on to the laser drum. Bouncing off the mirror. Well, thanks everybody for watching my fourth video. This week was all about sound. Do uh, have a go at making your laser blasting sound effects toys. And have a go at the, uh, the laser light show disco. Now, before I go, it's competition week. 
to begin with a chance of winning yourself a Eureka goodie bag with tons of cool stuff inside, answer this question. What is the smallest bone in the human body? Hmm? I'll say that again. What is the smallest bone in the human body? The clue is in this video you've just been watching. And just below this video that you're watching, in the comment section below, put your answers in the comment section and I will choose a winner next week. So until then, stay safe, have fun, and goodbye for now.